In this video, we'll be looking at how to convert pi or 3.142 in mantis and exponent form. This question was asked by somebody on the channel a few days back, and he's asking how we could express the value of pi in 16 bits, where we have a 1 bit sign, 5 bit exponent, and 10 bit mantis. So we will be sticking to this 16 bit format that the person has requested and solve it accordingly also i'd like to mention that i know that pi is an irrational value and we couldn't find the exact value of pi because we well it's basically not even possible to find the whole value of pi uh, but currently even for the purposes of this video we'll round out that whole big figure into just 3.142 even though it is um, something like 3.14159 uh, uh, 7 if I'm correct uh, uh, into estimate that to be 3.142 okay so let's start converting the first thing we would notice is that 0 0.142 is um, not in one of our classic powers such as 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.0, 0 0.625 so we'll have to deal it, deal with it with a second method first uh, let's separate the whole number and the decimals and we could very easily convert 3 that would just be 2 plus 1 0 and 0 so this would be the value for 3 and we would now go on and add the sign bit to it so when we add the sign bit since it's a positive figure it would be triple zero one one uh, zero is the sign bit for positive numbers and one is the sign bit for negative numbers just something to remember and now we'll start converting point 0.142 so if you remember from the previous videos how we do this is we multiply 0 0.142 um, and let's just zoom out a bit so we have some more space uh, 0.142 times 2 this would give us 0 0.284 now since this value is less than 1 we write down 0 and moving on we would again multiply 0 0.284 into 2 and this would give us 0 0.568 this value is also less than 1 so we would have another 0 uh, now when we multiply 0 0.568 times 2 we'd have 1.136 now this value is greater than 1 so let's add a 1 over here let's so we're gonna go a little bit further when solving this because we have a 10 bit mantissa and that can actually store a decent amount of accuracy for the number so a, a reminder of sorts that the higher the number of bits you assign to the mantissa the more accurate your answer is and the more bits you assign to the exponent the larger range of numbers you can represent okay so from here we will take 0 0.136 oh uh, 0 0.136 and multiply that by 2 now we're gonna get 0 0.272 and this is again less than 1 so what we put is 0 0.0010 and now again we're gonna multiply 0 0.272 into 2 this is going to give us 0 0.544 0 0.544 again less than 1 we'll have 0 0 1 0 we're adding another 0 now we, c we could go a little bit more further so why not right 0 0.544 Five four four times two, and this will give us the value. 
1.088 and now this is finally more than 1 so we'll have another 0 so at this point I believe it would be okay to stop because we have reached a pretty accurate uh, well it's still a guess but we have reached a pretty accurate um, we've reached the accuracy that we desire all right so now let's merge these two values um okay money yes. we'll get zero 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 one one point zero zero one zero zero one yep and now we have to shift the binary point so that it reaches the first digit of that is zero point we that it reaches zero point one so we have to jump the dot by two so our exponent would be two and we have the mantis as mantis as 0 0.11001001 which is this part basically all right and moving on it's basically all done right now we just have to convert the exponent into um, binary and we would that's pretty simple right we use the same format that we did over here and it would give us 0, 0, 1, 0. All right, so now we have the mantissa and the exponent. We just need to express them in the 10 plus 6 bit format. And we could do that pretty simply. So let's count the mantissa. One, uh, I mean, count the number of bits. So I'll just write them down first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still need another bit over here. Now, we could have avoided this issue earlier if what we did was taken this 0 0.8 and multiplied that with 2. So that would just be another step over here 0 0.088 times 2, which I don't even need to calculate because I know that value is going to be way less than 1. And so over here we would have an other 0. Basically, what we do right now is just add one more 0 over here. And that gives us the 10-bit mantissa. And since we need the 6-bit exponent, we add zeros behind over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this would give us the 6-bit exponent. Hence, this is our answer. Let's write it down. Neatly once mantissa 10-bit is... 0 0.11001010 and the exponent in 6 bits is 000010. All right, thank you. That's all.